Okay, hello again. Uh, I'm going to explain now how to use the 3D menu and the features that are included in this package. Uh, so right now we are going to focus on this um, this uh, feature included in the package at 3D menu. So this is the example that came with the package. Is the example number three? It takes test scene number three. This one over here. So uh, in this scene, uh, I have included um, a game object that was created by using this option. Um, also, um, I I included a script that is um, attached to the main menu is this one over here its name is create sphere we are going to open it this is the script that is included in the example but this script does is uh, this one creates an sphere um, from a primitive type it adds a read body and collider uh, collider material and collider bounciness and this is this other um, function or method over here creates a cube and this one creates a capsule so these uh, scripts or these um, uh, methods will be called from um, the options uh, we want to to call this on the 3d menu so that's it. That's what I'm going to try to explain to you in, in this tutorial. So what we have done here is uh, we used uh, some of the parameters that are in here. Uh, these options uh, let you uh, specify these options for all the titles. So each of the options you select in here will be available to you in this window so we are going to open it as you can see you have position space between titles selected for global uh, parameter and you see that the space between menu titles is available over here so you can change these values to make uh, any separation you want from one title to another you could do it in the X axis, the Y axis or the Z axis so for example if I hit here 5 as you could see the menu titles are uh, getting 5 units in the C space C uh, axis between them so we are going to put it back to zero uh, if you do the same with the x y the x axis uh, you could see that it also makes them separate in that direction okay so right now i'm going to put it that way also you have this option in over here is the justification you can center it or you can make it to the left or to the right right now we are going to put it into the right as it is in the example also you can add over here the uh, events you want uh, to be triggered with the mouse or with collision or if it became visible or invisible so by default it adds these three on mouse enter on mouse exit and on mouse down so you could also uh, specify the shader you want to be applied when the event tri is triggered and the audio and also you can add an iTwin effect for this example uh, we use the scale to iTwin effect when the on mouse enter event is triggered so the configuration windows for this we scale the 
first uh, the all the titles to 1.2 units when the mouse hit them so when the this other event is called or it's triggered in on mouse exit there is also the same i twin effect but this time we scale it to one so it came back to its normal scale when the mouse gets off or see or gets the out of the position where the title is or gets out of focus from the mouse okay and we also added over here an audio for example it's a car door but you can use whatever you want and when you hit the mouse down the the sound will be triggered too okay so uh, also you could select every and and each one of these options but you have to take into account that they will be configured for all the titles at the same time so as you could see uh, this title over here has um, uh, the font type and the style it's different from the other two so they are configured in over in this window that is the individual configuration of the menu title numbers zero or this one right over here so you can change the style this one has bold you can change it to normal for example or you can change it to bold bold and italic see that the this only affects the first title not all the others so you have to take that into account okay you can change the size the resolution and the depth this is plain in the in the 3d text tutorial so i'm not going to to explain it now you could also change the font color for each one of the of the titles um, the font shader you can type it if you want specular for example and it changed just for that title I'm going to keep it as diffuse diffuse okay uh, you, you have also all the events that this title has um, and for this example we only set it the target for the on mouse down event and the target function did you have to to know the name of the function that is at uh, in the script that is attached to the target that you we specify over here this is a game object this one and the create sphere is the method we saw previously in this script so it will be called from here okay so for the other titles in this one we create a queue this is the second one as you can see over here menu title number one this is this one and for the last menu title number two is this one we have create capsule so let's now run it and as you could see they scale to 1.2 when you get the when it get the mouse on enter event and when it's the uh, on exit event it, it it is scaled back to one unit so when you press it for example the create sphere it creates the primitive we selected on the script over here for the cube we have this and for the capsule we have this so hope I hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you have any question please send me an email and I will try to to answer your questions thank you